Hi, I'm Carly McAvoy. I wanted to post a quick video for those of you who have never taken an online class and just kind of want to hear what's going on. When you log into Canvas, if you're using your phone, you have to choose your preferences to see the home page. Um, what a lot of people do is just look at the to-do list only, and I would just say that is probably a mistake because you miss out on a lot of things that are posted only things in the to-do list are things that have a due date, but if I don't put a due date on, let's say, a helpful assignment that's something that's just to help you, you wouldn't see it. So if you want to see fully what's going on, if you go into the home page, you can see that I've got buttons here. Here's a link to the textbook. Um, the textbook is free and it's online. Um, I think you can get those, uh, get things public, uh, printed here, but I don't usually think that most people want that. If you go to uh, read and then um, over here under contents, you can click on the drop down menu and you can see all the different topics that are in there and you can further expand those to see exactly what's happening. So you always have the textbook if you want it. And again, um, I find a lot of people don't use the textbook, which is fine. I just want it there for people that do. Um, besides the textbooks, if you want to see any announcements that I make, you can see them here. Also, this is a good time to say if you go into your account, you can click on your preferences and if you can say that if an announcement is posted that it sends you a text. If you're a person who doesn't look at email very often, sometimes that's nice thing so you know what's going on. Also, you can set your preferences so if you're working in a group project, you can see if your group members uh, tried to contact you and things like that. I just want to mention here, it does say you need to go on and do the Get Start, uh, Start Here module as well as complete Unit 1 homework by Wednesday. Um, on Thursday at noon, I'll look to see who hasn't done that and you will be dropped from the course. If you haven't, you do get a full refund. Some students enroll in a class and then decide not to take it and they never withdraw. We don't want those people to end up paying for a class that they never intended to do. Um, and so there's no cost for any of the material, so there's no reason you can't get started um, by Wednesday. Um, and so that's a campus-wide policy that we drop people that aren't working away on the class. So just know that if you ever have a, a first week where you're not going to get started, um, that that's going to happen. Um, you can see the syllabus here by clicking on this. This is the syllabus online. In the same way, you can see the syllabus over here by clicking on files and then going down to syllabus and calendar. And you can always access the calendar here. I've always usually try to post things as a document uh, for Word document as well as a PDF. So whichever one works better on your computer. Also, the course calendar is here. And the course calendar is a really great document that hardly anybody looks at. Um, but it is everything that you have due for the quarter, when it's due, and any other important dates on there. So like last day to withdraw, that kind of thing. I spend some time putting this together to make it easier for you um, so that you could just print this off or save it on your computer and open it every once in a while just to see what's coming up. So that to-do list is one thing, but this is another way um, that you can get those things answered. Uh, you know, do I have something to do this week or what's going on? So just remember to check that out whenever you can. Um, and I would just say that should be your go-to for like what's due this week. Take a look at that at a glance. You can see everything. Back to the home page where you're going to spend most of your time is in the course the content modules. There's also a modules button over here on the left, but if you click on content modules, it's going to take you to the modules, which is where the work is done. I'm in student mode, so just like you, when I see the second one, I can't click on anything. And because up here it says there's a prerequisite of unit zero. So you have to go up here and work through the unit zero stuff before you can have access to the week one or unit one stuff. So here again is just the syllabus and calendar that would be available to you for the whole quarter. So you have it through files, you have it under syllabus, and you have it um, over here under syllabus. Um, and then you also have it here, so you should be able to access those at any time. Um, and then you have syllabus uh, quiz. So you're going to read through the syllabus or have it up while you take the quiz, and you're going to answer questions about your syllabus. 
Um, and then also there's a My Open Math orientation. My Open Math is the site we'll be using this quarter. You don't have to sign up for it. If you click on the assignments, it automatically takes it to takes you to those assignments. And that first one is a, a thing where you're going to go through and say, just it just tells you like how to clue uh, choose uh, how to do how to use. Um, this site. As soon as you answer it, it tells you whether it's right or wrong. So that orientation is important. Uh, you want to do that um, and get through the syllabus quiz. You have to get at least 12 out of 14. That's just my way of knowing that you looked at the syllabus, you know what's going on. Once you take the syllabus quiz and get at least 12, then this will open up. And so what you have at the top of all your, of all your um, modules is an outline that just tells you what we're going to be covering this week, and then the notes with video links in them, and then you have your other assignments. So in week one, I want you to introduce yourself. You'll have a discussion with other people in the class. Um, there's a lecture assignment that sort of has the videos in it that I think you should watch. Those videos are also up here. And then you have a technology assignment, which is helping you learn about GeoGebra, which is a site we're going to be using this quarter. And then you have your first homework assignment, and you have this statistics video, which is a uh, videos that I post that I make and just like kind of like what I would do if I was in class with you try to tell you some interesting things about statistics and help you relate it to real life and see why why people would study it at all so um, you can see here uh, week two is is not doesn't isn't shut down because of that prerequisite but this is the work you need to get done in order to not get dropped from the class the my open math homework is the one that I'm looking at if people haven't got in and got started on that by Wednesday I'm gonna say Okay, um, or by Thursday at noon, I'm going to be worried that you're not like um, getting things done and you're going to fall behind and it's probably not a good time to be taking a class. Um, and then you can see um, when you click on the video lectures, it's just a series of lectures over different things that are going to be coming up. Um, I Some of them are longer than others, some of them are shorter, but um, in general, they are there to help you uh, with the content. No one's expecting you to know this off the top of your head. So you have notes and when you go into the notes you can see that you can download the notes and then um, you also can click on this link and go see the videos there. There's The information is there in a lot of different ways. I try to make it very uh, very accessible to get all of that. This is more like a typical week. Week one has more stuff in it because we're doing the discussion and blah, blah, blah. But here in a typical week, we have uh, a, a quick activity. And then you have a lecture assignment, again, talking about just kind of getting you ready for the assignment and then the homework. And then you have in this week, a project where you have to read an article. I'm going to go open up this homework for a second, um, just to show you something. It usually tells you how many points it is. You, you can uh, use late passes if you need them, which just means um, I have I have built in so you can do homework late if you need to. So here's what a typical assignment might look like. Question one, and then you have to answer questions about it. Um, if you get stuck on something, you can always message me to ask, but really um, you should be watching those videos before you start that. And maybe I'll go in and add some videos here. Looks like I didn't do it on this one, but let me go back and show you one where I might have added in um, as the week, as it gets more difficult, I think I definitely did that. Um, the My Open Math homework assignments. Yeah, so here's a question, and then over here is a video. So underneath the questions, I have posted videos, so you can just, instead of going back and looking up old videos, you can see the videos there, and then you can also message me. All right, that's pretty much what you're going to be doing throughout the quarter, is working in, in, in uh, My Open Math. Uh, working in GeoGebra to complete some stuff and then you're going to be doing projects. The only other thing I want to mention is the group projects. You do have group projects. Um, you do sign up for the projects. Once you sign up, so if you wanted to sign up for a project, I don't know if this one's even open yet. This is, it's locked until Jan January 14th. So you can't sign up for a group until I get started. But once you do sign up for a uh, project, 
um, this is sign up project and so what you're going to do is you're going to go there's a, information on how to join a group but for the most part you go to people and you click on this this is I'm in instructor mode you won't be able to see it but you can see that there are a list of uh, groups here for project number two and you're going to just as a student it'll say join group and you can join it if I was the instructor I could drag somebody over and put them in there these are all the people in your class right now so you're going to join a group and then you're going to work in that group um, when you go to the group you're going to see um, a place where you can post a discussion and you're going to say hey I'm Carly McAvoy and I work during the day so it's better for me to meet and talk about this in the evening or I can never meet but I can I do check my email and I will work virtually or you just tell people what works for you and how you're going to be part of this discussion and then any files you want to post for this um, as you work on it, you can post here, upload them here, and then everybody in the group, but only the people in your group can see what's going on, and you can work there inside the group. Um, if you don't use the group, if you decide, oh, we're all just going to meet by texting, the, the, there is a problem with that in that I can't see that you've met and talked. And then somebody will send me an email saying, hey, so-and-so is not doing their part, and I can't see because nobody's doing anything on Canvas. So I all I can do is say, I, you know, I can't see that. So if you want evidence that you're helping and working, post your stuff in Canvas. That way I can see, no, she has responded. She just didn't want to get it in two weeks early like you did or whatever. So some people do like to get things done early and their group members don't. And then, um, you know, they get really frustrated. And, and I just have to say that's not how it works. You have to... Um, wait till the due day the day it's due if that's what somebody in your group needs to do so you need to be patient you can't always get things done early there are people who say hey I don't want to work in a group I don't like working with the groups yeah join the club 50% uh, of the students in the class don't want to do group work I do think it's important and uh, people do better in the class than I used to have a, a, a comprehensive final at the end I got rid of that and instead did these three group projects and the grades went up in the class so it is frustrating to work with the group but it actually is you learn more you see more application and um, you have a better experience overall without those heavy-duty uh, tests that we used to have so the group experiences replace that one last thing you can click on grades and see how you're doing if you uh, I answered that one question in the, my math, uh, my open math orientation. You can see the weight of all, everything over here of how your grade is is determined, and then you can see your grades here. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see your total grade for the class, and so you can kind of keep track of things that way. And then the other thing I didn't say, I keep saying one last thing. Um, at the end of the assignment is a list of a. Uh, your assignments too. So you have the calendar. If you can't open and read that calendar for some reason, then this is a really great uh, thing you can also do to see everything that's due for the week, and that's at the bottom of the syllabus. Um, so, if, uh, as far as the only test in the class is the mid is the midterm, and I just wanted you to know that the midterm you can take it twice. You take it once. You can go back and review it and then take it again. I keep the highest of the two scores. You take it at home. Um, it usually takes people about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to take it. I think I give you three hours. So I double the time for anybody who has a learning disability or some kind of test anxiety or whatever. I just try to take that away by making it so long that everybody could do it. Um, and so if you took it the first time though and you felt like oh my gosh I still didn't have time enough time then all you have to do is email me and I would be happy to add more time for that test but it would be for the second take unless you have a letter of accommodation to start with but um, I, I don't want anybody to fail because they didn't have enough time on the test uh, I always offer that and I haven't had to do that uh, for at least the last two years I give enough time on that test so all right, I will be on campus on Wednesdays if you wanted to pop in and see me. I don't do scheduled help times for this class. I have the help online. I answer email. If you're stuck on something like I can't do number seven in homework, 
you know, to be specific, I will look at that question and I will send you a targeted email um, with a targeted help with a video link and say, look at this video at minute five or whatever, and really try to help. But, but I will first ask, have you watched the videos? Because that's how you learn in this class. You watch the videos, you read the notes, then you try the homework. So please try to be an independent learner first. And when you get stuck, let me know and I will send you additional help. All right, everybody have a great quarter and I'll talk to you soon.